So, my name's Daniel Hagen. I'm an IT director for a video game company here in town. And uh, coming from an ops background and entering into the serverless world has been quite an interesting ride. Um, the most fascinating part about it is the lack of operations insight. And um, I want to start this off with a little bit of analogy. When you, uh, when you start, when you have an accident, you, you break your leg, your foot, your whatever, you go in and get an x-ray, right? You go check out what's wrong with whatever you just injured. But by nature, most of these tracing algorithms, most of these services that we use to debug them are constantly running all the time, no matter what you did to it. That's like going in and getting an x-ray every day. We don't need that, we just need systematic baseline, and then when things go wrong, we need all the data we need to solve it. So as an operations background, the thing that fascinated me was I can do this. I can trigger operational metricing off of events that matter to my services. The backbone of this uh, technology was X-Ray. If you have not used Amazon X-Ray, it's very interesting. It allows you to go all the way from the customer's first entrance into your service, being a, a HTTP load balancer, API endpoint, whatever it is, all the way into your Lambda, all the way back to your database. The great thing about that is you can see which part in your trace is the problem maker and what broke in the first place. Um, yeah. Waiting, waiting. Got ahead of my slides. X-ray, more X-ray. Well, the cool thing with X-ray is being able to trace out what time each part took. There we go, back to the money part. That's, as a director, this is what I care about, money. Um, how much is this gonna cost me? How much does it take for me to solve these problems? but I don't want to spend money when I'm not using it. So what I ended up using is Amazon's CloudWatch services to, to watch our service and trigger on thresholds, be that uh, error message count, uh, latency, and trigger Lambda calls that would adjust the sampling rate on our X-ray service, allowing me to set it to a low value when everything is going well and adjust it to a high value when everything is broken. This would be an example of your normal network throughput on a web service. You have your general flow, but then you have spikes that cause problems, usually an indicator that something's going wrong. The thresholds they set in CloudWatch were placed mostly around uh, metrics that would indicate that something is wrong. Latency in this case, visitor load time, something to that effect. Again, my goal is to not pay for the low end where everything's running well and only pay for the parts where this matters and I need data. So these CloudWatch events trigger a, a change in sample size on the Amazon service, uh, X-ray service, allowing me to get additional tracing to find out more detail about these errors and get that information back to my developers so that we can actually solve the problem. And at the end of the day, this allows me to save money, allowing me to put that into services that actually matter to my company and not for x-rays that I did not need. That is pretty much my talk. Thank you. <laughs>